I'm working on a project called Climb Dat Mountain, and it's an idea that came from some tweets that I was sharing with friends. And um, I put a link in the agenda to an overview of the project, its goals and sample use cases, and um, some contact information and places to explore. But uh, I just want to show a demo. Um, we're using a tool called Taiga, which is um, an agile tool. And uh, Christina and I have been working to define epics and a Kanban board about some sample use cases that we want to support. So this project is um, to figure out ways that decentralized technology could be used in educational settings, both online and offline. And um, what I have been exploring is the Beaker browser. So I put together a small prototype of a sample class in Beaker browser. And what I want to show you is that this home page is very simple to code once you have your components defined. So like these are all pictures, which would be the students. And um, if we could develop a toolbox of components that educators could use to put together their own web pages, there are scenarios that we could enable which would allow for um, student interaction um, to be very um, pr private. And uh, just to show in the class, so say a student takes a lesson, so they may uh, get an article to read and it can open up an article on the web. And this is the DAT URL, which is a decentralized protocol. And, um, but somebody who's more of an auditory learner may want to download and play a recording. So it could be an MP3 file. Now these things can be packaged up into the site and downloaded offline. So a person on an airplane or a person in a remote village can use it. And then when it's time for interaction, um, the teacher can prepare an assignment and the student can make a, an editable copy of this web page uh, very easily. They can uh, save it locally and this is their own personal copy of the class. And then they could edit the page and uh, save it locally and um, they could share it with the, uh, they could even create their own new website very easily. So watch this, create new website. And it's minting a new URL and uh, <laughs> it's now very easy for to have a sample page that it and interact with. So this is um, Beaker browser that I'm demonstrating. And um, let's see. Yeah, so eventually we'll have things like uh, taking a quiz and uh, multiple learning paths and mentoring protocols. So I've outlined the main ideas, but what we need are people with experience in education to help us design where this system is gonna go. And um, in an agile manner, um, the high level um, functionality of the system will be defined in epics and then user stories will come out of that and they can be drilled down and I'm also using the brain to map ideas as they come to me because there are challenges in the current implementation of these protocols. So I'm keeping track of uh, what, we're gonna, what we're expecting to see happen in the future before it becomes viable for a real class. But uh, this is a long-term project and it could go in many directions, but we need people to help shape the direction of where it's going. So I'm available for any questions. Okay, thanks for that, Eric. 